Jillian. Well, what a pleasure to meet you. I was looking forward to this day. It's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> and you're probably wondering why we've uh, invited you into the Advice Center this morning. You know, of course, when the pandemic first hit, all of us had to shift the way we were doing things. And we missed a lot of our members coming into our advice centers. So across the province, Lillian, we asked our employees to identify some special members that uh, we would like to give back to them in some special way. And I'm pleased to say, Lillian, that uh, you've been nominated and uh, when your name was put forward, it was unanimous. We'd like to award you with a $1,000 honorarium. It's gonna be your choice to accept this honorarium or you can donate it to an organization in the community of your choice. Thank you so very much. They are just wonderful ladies that work here and I just love them so. Thank you so very much. When we were given the task to choose a member, all of us gathered a list and Lillian was the top of everyone's list. So it was a clear decision that Lillian was the one we were going to nominate. During the pandemic, um, our doors were closed to the public. So we could only talk to members on the phone or they would use the ATM or the night deposit. Lillian would leave us little love notes in the night deposit words of encouragement and just well wishes making sure we were okay when really we were closed because we wanted to protect people like her. You know she just took the time to cut out little jokes from magazines or newspapers and even after she was nominated she sent us little thank you cards to each of us individually and when I took it home yeah my family was just you know so surprised at what a what a kind gesture and you know it just really shows what a sweet person she is. Well when when they did tell me I couldn't believe it at first and it was kind of overwhelming I was so close to tears and just to know that I got it but I could use it to help somebody else. So she decided um, to put these funds towards the therapeutic park and specifically the center table in the park, which is a wheelchair accessible table. The goal for this park is that it's going to be, it's therapeutic. Uh, it's set up to be all in, environmentally friendly. And our big draw is that it's located right across from our seniors home and uh, residents can come across for that. So Lillian was gracious enough to donate this picnic table which is also wheelchair accessible and uh, I think this is a great way to just relax and enjoy. I decided to donate it to this park. I just would never have dreamed of keeping it. I didn't need it and it would help somebody else and that's what we're put on earth for is to love and help other people when we can. And it will be a table of love and peace and just to bless whoever comes here and uses it. I think we all have a lot of pride for working for Affinity. And I am proud the way that we give back to the, the communities. It's, it's really neat to see how excited she is about everything and uh, she just keeps saying she's not deserving which makes us feel like we made the right choice because she absolutely is deserving. Lamin is my home. And being a part of Affinity, their value is to give back to the community. Whether it's volunteering at the sports day or Toasty Tuesday at school, it brings me a lot of pride knowing that I can give back to my community through Affinity Credit Union.